Understanding Hell and Back, a guide to mastering this English phrase. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, hell and back. This phrase is widely used in English-speaking cultures, and understanding it can really enrich your language skills. Let's explore its meaning, usage, and origins together. Hell and back is an idiomatic expression used to describe an extremely difficult or challenging experience. When someone says they've been through hell and back, they mean they have endured severe hardships but have emerged successfully or survived against the odds. It's often used to emphasize resilience, strength, and endurance. This phrase is versatile and can be used in various contexts personal struggles. She's been through hell and back dealing with her illness, but she remains optimistic. Challenging adventures. Our hike through the Amazon felt like we went to hell and back, but it was worth it. Overcoming obstacles. After going through hell and back to get his degree, John finally graduated with honors. In each of these examples, the phrase illustrates a journey of overcoming extreme difficulties. The phrase, hell and back, can be traced back to literature and folklore where, hell, is often depicted as the ultimate place of suffering or challenge. Its use in modern language retains the essence of facing and overcoming severe trials. Culturally, it resonates with the universal theme of triumph over adversity. Appropriate Context Use it to describe situations of significant difficulty or challenge. Emotional weight. Understand that this phrase carries a strong emotional undertone, so it's best used in serious contexts. Variations. Be aware of similar expressions like, been through the ringer, or, had a tough go of it, which have lighter connotations. I hope this video has shed light on the phrase, hell and back, and its rich meaning in the English language. Whether you're navigating personal challenges or describing an epic journey, this expression can add depth and emotion to your storytelling. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be using English idioms like a native speaker.